Today we're gonna be making crispy golden brown corn tortilla chips salted with lime infused salt. And if that wasn't enough, we're also gonna be making a restaurant style Mexican salsa. After all, I think we can all agree, homemade is just so much better. Hi everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Rosana, and as always, I wanna invite you to subscribe, like this video, and also click the notification bell. Yay, let's get started with a salsa. Bring out the blender cup. And you're gonna need one pound of Roma tomatoes. I'm just gonna remove the stem area. And that's about four tomatoes. Now, roughly dice them, they don't have to be perfect. Transfer the tomatoes into the blender. This salsa is over the moon flavorful and super easy to make. Do the same thing with two jalapenos. And let me tell you, you can remove the seeds if you like to reduce that heat content, but I'm gonna keep it. I want that kick of heat. All right. And lastly, we're also gonna roughly dice a quarter of a medium white onion. Into the blender it goes. This is looking so fresh, which is a great representation of all the qualities in this salsa. Add in three chiles de arbol, and this is optional if you want that extra kick of heat. So you can omit them if you want. Two garlic cloves and half a cup of water. Now let's blend this until completely smooth. Let's fry the salsa, and this is a very common Mexican technique because it intensifies the flavors, cooks the ingredients, and in this case, thickens the salsa. So place a pot over medium heat and heat a couple of tablespoons of avocado oil. The oil is nice and hot, carefully pour in the salsa. Yes, ooh, I get excited when I hear that sizzling sound. Wonderful. Pour in an additional half a cup of water into the blender so we get the remainder of the salsa. Swirl it around. <laughs> into the pot it goes. Stir everything to combine. Ooh, yes. And allow this to reach a boil. At this point, lower the heat to medium low because we're gonna let it reduce for about 12 to 15 minutes. It's gonna allow everything to cook. It's gonna taste so good. This is looking wonderful. Let me show you how it looks. The consistency is perfect, just how I like it. Now, if you like it a bit thicker, you can always reduce it for a little bit longer. At this point, I'm gonna season it with kosher salt to taste. I'll do one and a half teaspoons. Stir it in and set it aside. That way it cools down completely. I was introduced to lime infused salt while working at restaurants and let me tell you, it makes a chip stand out and I'm so excited to share it with you. We need to squeeze one cup of lime juice. That was a lot of limes and here is the evidence. Okay, measure out half a cup of kosher salt, which I have right here. Grab the lime juice and follow me to the stove, come on. Place a saucepan over medium heat, pour in the lime juice and the salt, as easy as that. This is now boiling. You wanna stir as needed. 
and at this point lower to medium low heat that way all of the juice reduces and evaporates on a gentle simmer while that's happening we need to prep the corn tortillas and I have 12 of them right here and I'm just gonna cut them into triangles into six segments This is gonna give us a nice large tortilla chip so that we can get as much salsa as we can into it. <laughs> Perfect. Now I can hear that saucepan going at it. So we're gonna go check that out. This is ready and I wanna show you how it looks like. See, all of that liquid is gone. Kinda looks like wet sand. Now I've already turned off the heat, remove it from the stove and spread it over paper towels. For me to get to the right consistency and all the juice to evaporate, it took about 28 to 30 minutes. Awesome. At this point, place another paper towel right on top of it just to cover it. And we're gonna let this air dry for one day or until it looks like this. This means you will have to make it ahead of time. Now, let's finish the chips. Heat one inch of avocado oil over medium heat or any type of oil that's good for frying. The oil has reached the right temperature. Add in the corn tortillas and do it in batches. Try not to overcrowd the pot. You want to allow them to get nice and golden brown, crispy on both sides. Remove them as soon as they're done. These look so good. While the tortilla chips are still hot right off the oil, you wanna hit it with that lime salt. Ooh, this is coming out so nicely. The salsa has cooled, it is no longer hot. Pour it into a bowl. Top it off with chopped cilantro and I have a quarter of a bunch. This is fresh. I'm gonna give it a pop of color and such great flavor. Also add in a quarter of a medium white onion, and this is finely chopped as well. And mix it in. I transferred the tortilla chips onto a cooling rack, that way they could drain off all of that excess oil. You can also place them over paper towels so they can absorb it. And if you don't have lime salt around, that's fine, you can also season them with just kosher salt. That's what I'm talking about, look at that. So just look at this right here. Oh boy, are we excited Nelson? Yes. Chips and salsa are the perfect combination for a successful gathering or just a normal day. Ooh, the time has come and I'm ready to taste. Hi everyone. <laughs> the best time of the video. Oh yes. This is so good. They smell really good. I know. Mm. Wow. It's so good. Fresh corn tortilla chips are just, ooh, so good. Oh yeah. And nice. I'm in love with that corn flavor. The you know, salsa. You know what's the only thing, a bad thing about this, Nelson? I don't know if I can contain myself. <laughs> I have to. As you may know because of my condition, can't eat too many, but I am very happy and I am thankful that I can try this. Yeah. It is so good and I can share this recipe with you guys. The ones at restaurants are good, but this one, 
these are top of the line. Homemade is just so much better. Oh yeah. So much better. You have to try this. Mm. I sometimes wonder, do we go to restaurants because of the chips and the salsa or because <laughs> of the food? I don't know, but they fill us up before we even get the dish. Yep. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. You make it at home, enjoy it with your friends and family. Remember that you can follow me on Via Cocina on all of my social media platforms and until the next one. Until the next one.